Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I trust you had a good Father's Day weekend. And today let's talk about some of the things we're up against right now. And using up against for a language pattern sometimes doesn't sound that good. I hear that all the time. I'm up against this. This is coming down on me. I'm a proponent of really being careful of the things we say. The, the words we use go outside of our mouth, come right back through our ears right here, and our mind believes everything we say. Today, I want you to pay particular attention to the way you say things. People come here and work with me all the time, and one of the first things I talk to people about are eliminating those virus words, which is why, try, need, but, should, don't, and hope. There's just seven of them. You would think it'd be very easy to get rid of those. However, week after week, I hear people still using these words, and the reason for it is they're kind of burned into our mind very, very tightly, and we have to be uptime or conscious and aware of what we're saying in order to eliminate them. Also, sometimes our language patterns are patterns. They're little scripts we use, and these little scripts we use program us for failure. Today, and through the rest of this week, I think it's going to be important for us to really pay attention to the way we say things. Have you ever been around somebody who's always cheerful? I mean, they're cheerful all the time. They're happy. And you'll wonder, like, how do they do that? In fact, I've had people come here and say, you know what, you bug me. You're just too happy all the time. I'm really not happy all the time. I have my moments. Believe me, the people that know me know that. However, what I do know, if I can catch it, it really, really helps not to allow myself to hear myself say those things. You know, I have my mentors and close friends who say, hey, Gary, there you go again. You got to be careful what you're saying. So no way do I want to come across as having the West Coast distributorship on cool right here and being perfect in using these tools I'm sharing with you. I want you to understand we have to work at it. And if you're not going to work at it, it's not going to happen for you. However, I can guarantee to you today, if you will eliminate the virus words, why, try, need, but, should, don't, and hope, out of your vocabulary, and start using one word in the place of most of those, and the word is choose. Tell yourself, I choose to do this, or I choose to make that decision, or I chose to make that decision. Or today I'm going to choose to start working on cleaning the garage, rather than saying, I've been trying to clean it and don't have time. Two virus words in one sentence that's going to guarantee failure. Today, yeah, we're up against a lot, but rather than say that, let's say this. Today, we have more opportunities to grow and create than we ever have before. Let's take a look at that, and let's focus on really what's going on. It's just life 101. If you'll get on board with it and do what I'm asking you to do, you're going to see a difference this week. And I'm talking a big difference. Money can start coming your direction. Good fortune can come your way. Good health can start improving. And also people will start surrounding themselves around you, looking at you as a leader, not someone who is a victim. Let's work on it today. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a virus-free day in your words. Until then, bye-bye.